What's up, JB Nate B? It's your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be a makeup video. And I have received a package from Ipsy. And um, they have sent me some wonderful items in there. And today, the item I'm going to be reviewing is the Mood Palette by Laura Sanchez. Look at those colors. As you can see, I have dabbled in the yellow already. It has some beautiful colors in here. It's such a small palette, but like so much you can do with this. So today I am going to be doing this yellow look right here for you guys. Yellow is my favorite color, especially this yellow, a mustard yellow. It's my favorite color. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to open this package here from Ipsy. And it has this, um palette in here called Moods by Laura Sanchez and I really didn't even know who this was um, I went on Instagram I looked her up and guess what I'm even featured on her makeup page so that's kind of dope now I'm going in my wet and wild oh hold on let me re say that now I'm going in with my wet and wild um, face primer and um, yeah I'm going to clean up these brows right here now I am going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and it's so crazy because honestly I forgot how I used to do my brows I was looking at old pictures the other day and I was like girl you used to slay your brows like try to get it back try to remember how you do your brows and I got it back so basically what I do is I kind of like make the shape of the brow and I put a little bit of dip brow towards the end and I brush the rest of it through um, so I don't have to use so much of the product okay now we're going to be going in with the Marc Jacobs concealer and I got this from influencer and this is really the creamiest concealer I ever had I love it it spreads so evenly so good I absolutely love it so basically what you see me do in here is um, I use the concealer to kind of give my brows that very sharp shape a arched shape at that and then I also brought the concealer down because that's going to be my base for the eyeshadow Now, putting the concealer around your brows is really a thing I do when I have not had an eyebrow wax because I just have to shape out the whole entire brow. Now, normally I would just put the concealer underneath my brow because I normally do not need it on the top. But since my brows are slightly uneven, I have to kind of like line them up and shape out the whole entire brow. And now you see me buffing out the concealer and I'm gonna buff it out all the way around, like all the way around the eyebrows and everything. Now that we got that all buffed out, it's time to put the foundation on and I am using Smashbox 24 Hour Foundation. And I really like this. I've been using this for about three months now and I like it. I, um, The only thing I can say about 24 Hour Foundation is it's literally 20 this is literally 24 hours so i think to me it makes my face appear kind of dry after a while and i have to go put some setting spray on it to bring back the moisture so now i am going back in with that mark jacobs concealer and i'm doing my highlight just going to take some of my setting spray and wet my little sponge there and go ahead and dab out that highlight Okay, now it's time to dig into this mousse palette and I went straight for the brown and it's actually pretty pigmented. You know, with some makeup companies you have to like build up for like 30 minutes <laughs> or more trying to build it up. Um, but this brown was really pigmented. Okay, going in with this Smashbox 24 hour concealer and I'm going to use this to create a cut crease on my eyelids. 
You know, a while ago, I used to really struggle with the cut crease. And when I used to really be into the makeup stuff, um, the problem was I could never understand like how far up was good enough and or how far up was too far. Um, I finally found my comfort zone. Um, some people aren't comfortable with taking it all the way up their crease or going past their lid, especially if you have like hooded eyes or anything like that. But yeah, I found my comfort zone in my crease. And girl, do not be afraid to take it up a tad bit. Some people do cut creases and it'd be like really small or they can go higher. Girl, don't be afraid to go higher. So now I am placing that yellow. Now what I will say about this yellow, this yellow was not as pigmented as the brown. I actually had to take the back of my um, makeup brush and kind of like scrub it out a little bit and um, that helped. Um, but this, I still think the palette is a great palette. It's just that the yellow is different for certain complexions. All right, now we're gonna dust off all the fallout. Okay, I have no idea which eyeliner this is I use. I usually use e.l.f., but this looks like the hair store one. Um, I probably ran out of my e.l.f., that's probably why I ended up using this one. But yes, I am putting on a thick wing liner for this look. Going in with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Setting Powder and going to set my whole face with that. Going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette um, and I'm going to use the darkest shade on the palette to contour my face. Alright, my e.l.f. mascara, I'm just going to use that to do some strikes at the bottom of my eyes. I will not be doing any like stick eyeliner or any eyeshadow down there. I would just be using the mascara. Throwing on some lashes and I'm going in with my girl Lactic. I think that's how you pronounce this company, but it's like a three-in-one lip balm. It has like a lip sparkle that you put either on top of your lip gloss lipstick or underneath your lip gloss or lipstick and this also came in the ipsy box and it's actually very smooth um usually i'm a little afraid with things with glitter in it because i hate the way like it makes my lips feel i can it feels like something's on my lips but this was cool this was really really soft and it didn't feel like anything it felt like lip gloss and then look check this out in the laura sanchez palette she has a highlighter girl look at that Oh my gosh, I never really use highlighter no more, um, but I like this one, and I never, definitely never use one this color. Um, this is my first time using it. I actually got a little excited with it. <laughs> now I'm going in with this old, old, old Morph palette that I still have. It's a blush palette, and um, I've had this for so long, I can't even tell you guys which number this is. Okay, so here is my NYX setting spray, and we are done. We are done. If you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs it up, share it, comment down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, all that good stuff. Until next time, JB Navy, I'm out.